hello, I'm Allison Monaco. Uh, through the Dear Me process, I've been able to, I personally have been able to work with um, three people who in our workshop, um, one boy and two, two women, all equally different, all equally beneficial. Uh, the first person I partnered up with was a boy and he wrote a letter to um, a girl who was his friend and he hated seeing her in the relationship that she was in and he just wanted her, he go, he was being hurt by seeing her hurt and I thought that that was very, I thought that that was very po powerful and I, um, and you, from somebody so young said it so eloquently um, about how her relationship was affecting him. Um, and I just thought that he was a very brave, I thought that he was a very brave kid, very, very brave, and it will definitely impact this world in a positive way uh, when he's older, or now, even now. Uh, the, the, second, the second time I, we were at Lafayette High School and I worked with this girl who was very, very quiet, and she, she might be my favorite one that I've worked with thus far. And she wouldn't share, she wouldn't show her letter, and I really had to dig down deep with, our, with, our, with the skills that we've learned in this class and um, with collaborating and problem solving, and I really had to think on my feet about how I could get this girl to talk um, to me. And so I had to make up my own letter right on the spot and kind of open up myself so that she would open up. And the little bit that I got out of her was so powerful. You know, we tried to describe her world of scene, you know, where she would like to say this letter, and she just said that she wished that she, she, wants, an, she wants to have a microphone when she says this, and I said, do you wish you had a microphone all the time? And she goes, yes, all the time. I want a microphone. And she was so quiet. And I just thought that that, I thought that that was, I thought that that was special because I, I didn't think she was going to say anything to me. So the fact that she told me that was really cool. And the last woman I got to work with at the Salvation Army, she um, wrote a note. She wouldn't, she wouldn't call it a letter. She called it a note. And it was like four lines of the most powerful message ever she ta talking to a man that the father of her children she told me and she told she told me that she needs her heart needs him to keep its beat and I thought that that was very very powerful and she was very she was very willing to open up to me she wouldn't she didn't want to share with anybody else but she um, what I've learned from these three people is that there are like there are poets in everybody everybody has this rel um, raised eloquence, everybody has this raised romantic language that they just wish they could use and they don't ever have a chance to use it. And I'm so glad that we are, we are the people who are like, speak your mind and we, and we give that to them. I just think that that's so cool because people are so brilliant and, and so beautiful inside and we would never know if we didn't have, or I would never know if we didn't have, if I didn't have the tools from this department if I didn't have uh, Dear Me in Rwanda and the skills I learned in Rwanda. So those have been my experiences thus far and hopefully I'll have many, many more. Thanks, Al. You're welcome. Hello, my name is Christina Mataro and I just wanted to say that working um, on Dear Me and touring into high schools really solidifies for me how important our work is. Um, I didn't think that the small script that we had would grow into this great experience um, teaching and becoming um, teaching artists for other people um, for all different ages and, and walks of life and things like that. Um, a really, really nice experience I had was when we were at McKinley High School and there was um, a boy there who, who read his letter very, very quiet and, you know, as soon as he read it, it you know, he started bawling and for, um, you know, for a student of that age, I believe it was um, freshman, for him to read that and then to cry in front of his entire class was very, very powerful for all of us because he, he kind of became like a hero. Like he was able to share a story and everyone else was able to see that it was okay and that their stories matter. And I was really, really proud and he was just so brave for that. So um, you never know what one person or a bunch of people will be willing to share with you. And another one was when we were at Madai for the National Foundation for Just Communities Conference. 
and we had high school kids come in and there was a girl who was very, very scared to share her letter because of her culture. Um, her culture was very reserved and she wanted to say all these things to her mom, but she couldn't. Her mom would just yell at her and, um, you know, she, uh, at the very last minute she wanted to get on stage and, and read her letter and I was very surprised and she felt so much better. She told me she felt so much better after reading that because she could have never ever said the things that she said in her letter to her mom. And so I think that people are surprised and people really, really do begin to value the, the power of letter writing and what it can do for them. And so I'm very lucky that I'm here and experiencing near me and um, being able to teach these skills to other people. So that's my experience. Thanks. Thank you. Hello, my name is Diana Dolak, and I play the Native American and the ensemble in Dear Me. Uh, I've been a part of Dear Me since last semester in May, and it has been one of the best experiences I've ever had throughout my college career. Um, Dear Me has helped me become a better actress and a better person as well. Um, I've become, I've been able to become a better actress because I've been able to work with different body movements and, and language and voice with the Native American and it's just such a cool experience. Um, but as a person, I think more importantly, I've just, I've gained so much knowledge and, and so much healing for myself as, as a person. And um, Dear Me has definitely helped me become, become more understanding, more forgiving for others and also myself. Uh, some of the experiences I had with some of the students, especially at McKinley, I had a, a boy who was very, who kept everything inside and even his peers next to him were saying that, you know, you never keep your, you never express your feelings. You always keep them bottled up. And we ended up sharing his story and his story was just incredible. And he said that he never told anybody about it and he was brave enough to actually say it in front of the entire freshman class of McKinley. And after that, he just bawled his eyes out and came back out with so much strength and courage and everybody just applauded for him. And it was just a really, a really a great experience to be there because, you know, we see this kid who supposedly keeps everything in and then all of a sudden he expresses it to 200 people. So that was, that was amazing. And um, so it definitely impacts me because I love making people feel better. I love, I love putting smiles on faces and this is what we definitely do. We keep, we help people open up and that's, that's truly an, an amazing experience. And seeing, seeing young students open up has definitely helped me open myself up actually. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, it's truly a great experience that I will never forget, and I just want to keep doing it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Shabar Rubs, and I played JP in Dear Me, the Rwandan character, and also Ensemble. I have been a part of Dear Me since we started writing it um, when we got back from Rwanda in the spring. and. When I graduated, I was given the opportunity to stay on with the show, and of course I did, um, because I love it. Um, I'm done saying um. Throughout the process of Dear Me, we have toured a lot, which touring has definitely improved my artistry, um, because working in different locations, it allows me to think in the moment and keep the show fresh and find new obstacles and new ways to tell the same story. It definitely has improved me as a person because through the workshop, I, I've become more aware and in tune with other people. And I, I see that there's a lot of hurt in the world. There's a lot of pain, a lot of people are suffering and through Dear Me, we have learned um, certain vocabulary and tools that to, we can use to help people. We can use to um, heal their pain. And it's not as hard as I thought it would be. Um, some specific moments, 
might be during the workshop. That's when we really get people to open up. Uh, just at the last workshop we did at the Salvation Army, there was a girl who was from Jamaica, and she wrote a letter to her sister. Her, her and her sister were very close, and um, they grew apart when they came to America, and she said that she never would have written anything down like that. She would never say it to her sister, and through talking with her and her sharing her letter with me, I was. she said that she might feel comfortable um, bringing some of this stuff up with her sister because she wants to rekindle a relationship. She wants to um, be close with her again. Is there another question? I'm doing good. Doing good? Yeah. <laughs> That's, that, that can be all if you want that to be all. One last thing. Okay. Um, no, that's all. No, go ahead. <laughs> We're talking about just Dear Me or teaching, too. Go ahead, teaching. Yep. Okay. Um, so another thing that we do, um, aside from Dear Me, is we go to different schools and we teach theater to the students. And that has definitely um, improved my artistry as a teacher, as, uh, as an actor, as a director, because we work with kids from pre-K up until high school um, and it's, it's a constant adjustment it's like touring our teaching because we have to <laughs> constantly adjust to the different classrooms the, the different students the different ages um, the different skill levels the different energy levels and it's it's very interesting adapting the lessons and learning in the moment and teaching in the moment at the same time it's really cool. And now I'm done. Thank you. Okay. Hi, I'm Frances Hughes, and I am the tour manager and stage manager of Dear Me. I was part of the group that traveled to Rwanda this past January to where the play was born, essentially. And then since then, I've helped write it um, throughout the past last semester until May. And then I have been the stage manager and tour manager while we've been touring it to different schools and organizations. As an artist and as a stage manager, this process has really helped me because it's taught me to be really adaptable and always think on my feet. Um, we get thrown into a lot of situations that we don't really know how the show is going to happen and it's taught me to just jump right in and make it work and make sure all the actors know what's going on and it's kept me on my toes, I guess. Okay. Um, so one of the cool things about being the stage manager of the show is I get to watch the show every time it happens, which is really exciting because um, even though I wrote it, it's, it changes every time we, we perform it, every space, the actors totally feed off the energy of the audiences, and it kind of, they, they adapt their performances to what the, the audience needs, and so it's really exciting to get to see the show every time it's a little bit different, even if we perform it three times in one week, you see three different, sh three different shows, and each time I see it, it impacts me emotionally, so I can only imagine what, how it impacts the young people that we work with. Um, and something that I've learned in this process is that working with young people is extremely important because every time we go to a school, there's always one young person who shares something with us that maybe they haven't shared with anybody else before. And it's crazy to think that um, our piece of theater is creating such an emotional reaction in them that they feel the need to change and to share and connect with other people, which I think is a really powerful tool, especially for high school students who are living in a world where it's really difficult to